Hey guys, Jeff 2 star here. Uh, today we're going to look at my N64 games. And I've got surprisingly a good few here. I've got about 15. And they're all really, really good ones. Actually, I have 17, sorry. Two of which whoops, <laughs> are, um, um, my friend is borrowing Ocarina of Time. So, which is probably my favorite in the Zelda series. And I've mentioned this one, I got my system. My friend had borrowed, had let me, had given me a Majora's Mask, and he has not given me that one yet. He will though. Um, so yeah, let's get started. There are plenty of trees for five bucks. It's an amazing FPS right here. If you have a 64, I would totally recommend this. Just the weapons that you get are brilliantly designed. The enemies, they all, it's actually probably great AI. And on the way, actually, there's also side truck two seed to evil cash converters for three bucks. Probably my favorite in the truck series. I do not have three, so I can't exactly say that. Um, and again, this is probably better than the first one. Also, it gave birth to one of the greatest weapons in all video gaming, and that is the spiral boar. It's just amazing to use. Pretty much you just shoot it, it attacks your enemy from the head, goes into their skull and it blows it all up. Amazing. And I hit my camera, didn't I? And I don't have three. Whoa. But I do happen to have uh, Tarot Rage Wars, which came with mine. No. No, I got this the day after I got mine. Um, I don't like this. It's just an embarrassment to the Turok series. Don't buy this. I'm probably going to trade that in at some point. And, uh, Automobile Lamborghini that haven't played a golden plan to. Madden 2000. It's Madden. Whatever. The only two ones that I don't seem to really care about. Duke Nukem Zero Hour. It's all beat up and everything. Labels rips. That GameStop sticker I'll put off. Um, I do like this, although I do prefer uh, Duke Nukem 3D. But it's still pretty fun. It's in third person now. I'm pretty sure this was the first Duke Nukem to have third person. I don't know. It's still pretty fun. South Park Chef's Low Shack. This is supposed to be a South Park party game. I freaking hate it. It's an embarrassment to South Park. What do we have here? Super Mario 64. Fuck yes. Playing trade for fifth. No. This is mine. My friends let me borrow this. But considering the fact that I can pretty much borrow them for as long as I really seem to want, I figured I would. I'll tell you about them. I figured I would include them. Uh, I just got this a couple of days ago, and I do. I haven't even gotten to it yet. I've played the first level and uh, I got stuck on the second one, which is very, very embarrassing for me. I do not have any other Mario Kart games. I want to get six. I want to get Mario Kart and whatever. Donkey Kong 64. My friend wants to let me borrow this. From what I hear, it's not as good as Country, as the Country series on the SNES. And also, it's really, really long. I mean, rare games, rare, rare games are really, are usually really long. But this one was. Ow. Sorry, I just snapped my leg. Huh. Perfect Dark. Yes. Yes. This is one of my favorite FPSs, and probably one of the best games on the 64. Wait, hold that dog. Best game 64. Put over here with my Xbox games. Here it is. We have this. Perfect Dark 64, which I paid for five bucks. Do not buy this. It's an embarrassment. Alright, back over here. Oh, yes. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Oh, my God. My friend let me borrow this. He paid, I believe, 30 for it. That is a really good price for this. This game is worth roughly
roughly about two hundred dollars. It's probably the rarest game that's out there today. Um, the second I believe was Final Fantasy VII, which I do want to get, but I don't want to talk about this right now. Um, this is just so much fun. It's one of the best third-person plus third what, fail. <laughs> it's one of the best 3D platformers I think I've done, I've, I've, I've ever played. The problem is, it's really, really long, and it's, he told me, my friend told me this, um, if you are usually really good at platformers, this will be the one that will piss you off. And I'm not exactly sure yet. Doom 64, uh, I don't know. I do love Doom, it's one of my favorite shooters, but this one, just... I don't even know. Banjo Kazooie, very very good play platformer right here, and a must have if you have the 64. Um, Banjo Tooie is even harder, but and longer, but I still like this one better. Uh, Battle Tank Global Assault. I'm not really a fan of the Battle Tank series, but oh well. Why not? And lastly, Tony Hawk's first game, the original. Um, not really much to say. It's Tony Hawk. You know, you go on a skateboard and you pull some cool tricks. So that's it for the 64. And this one does get updated fairly quickly. I uh, believe. Yeah, it's all of them. Um, so this will probably get updated pretty soon. Um, as for ones I still want, I definitely want to get Star Fox 64. Uh, I haven't been able to find it though. I don't know. And then Mario Kart 64, Super Smash Bros. Um, Terox 3, I want to try that, and maybe, oh, um, Raymond 2, if I can't get, if I find that on PS1, I'll get it for that, but if not, I'll get it on this, and I think that's just about it, uh, I'll see you next time, hopefully with PS1, which is, should be, uh, filled up pretty soon. I only have, I have quite a couple coming in. Alright, bye.